So with the big Black Friday weekend coming up, you might be considering running some kind of a sale in your business, or you might be interested in generally learning how to effectively run a flash sale on a product or service in your business, maybe over a weekend or a couple of days. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this with your email marketing, specifically using Flowdesk, who are the sponsors of today's video. They are the email marketing platform that I love and use and recommend to all my clients and students. And in the last few days, they have launched some amazing e-commerce email marketing features which are going to really up level your sales emails over the holiday season and I'm going to show you how to use them but first of all you're going to want to decide on what kind of a sale you want to offer and actually set this up on your products on your services so maybe you have a physical product maybe you sell candles for example the kind of sale you could offer could be free shipping you could offer a percentage or an amount off discount you could be offering some kind of buy one get one free or buy one get one half off offer or incorporating a free gift for this short period period of time. So if someone buys a product, you're going to offer them an extra bonus product to go along with it. Or if you sell digital products like eBooks or online courses, let's say that you have an online crocheting class that you sell. Again, you could offer a percentage or an amount of discount. You could do some kind of buy one, get one free offer with your classes. If you sell lots of different ones or a buy one, get one half off. Or again, you could offer some kind of an extra bonus throughout this limited time period. But even if you run a service-based business, you can still run a flash sale as well. Again, you could have an offer where you have a percentage off or you're giving an amount off for your service or maybe based on your hourly rate. You could offer some kind of a package of multiple services at a discounted bundled price. Or again, you could offer some kind of an extra bonus throughout this period. So for example, if you were a personal trainer, you could offer some kind of a free home workout template or mini course for people who book with you during this time. So those are some ideas of what you could do. You're then gonna to want to actually set this up. So you set up the discount codes ready on your website for your products. So for example, I've set up this page here on my website, a specific Black Friday weekend sale page. And I've just listed all of the products that are included in that and their sales discount and then links for people to buy those products as well. Of course, this does depend on what you're offering. If you've got a physical product, maybe you just want to offer people a discount code within your emails that you send to people and then they can just plug it in at the checkout. So you're just gonna be linking to those product pages or if you offer a service, again, within your email marketing, you could just tell people to quote a certain phrase or code in your inquiry form or when you speak to them on a sales call. But one of the best ways to get people excited about an upcoming sale or promotion or product or service that you're offering is through your email marketing. So if you have an email list already, you're gonna to want to share some emails about your flash sale to them, which I'll come back to in a minute. And if you're just starting out with your email list, or if you want to have this flash sale be something that only your email list get access to, then you're gonna to want to collect some emails ready in time for Black Friday as well. So if you're using Flowdesk, then you need to create a sign up form to encourage people to sign up to receive your Black Friday offers. And then you can then share this sign up form to your social media followings and wherever else you'd like to start collecting email subscribers ready for sale day. So in Flowdesk, in the forms area, there are several different types of forms you can create. You can create easy link in bio pages for your Instagram with a sign up form on there. You can create pop-up sign-up forms to add to your website or inline sign-up forms to add to your website. Or you can just create a whole landing page form in here and customize this for your needs. For more details on creating and customizing sign-up forms in Flowdesk and growing your email list by sharing this on your socials, go and check out this video here. So then when it actually comes to the build-up of your flash sale, there are three different types of emails you're going to want to send over this short period of time. The first type of email is a pre-hype email, and this is where you're going to be building anticipation for the flash sale, letting people know that this is coming. This email might include a teaser saying something's coming, telling people to set their reminders. You might want to include a countdown in this email. So I'm just in Flowdesk and heading over to create a new email and you'll see they have added some new e-commerce focused email templates for you to get started with a flash sale like this, which is awesome. So because this is a pre-hype email, we want to let people know something's coming. I'm gonna include a countdown timer in this email as well. So I'm gonna start with this template and customize it for my purposes. So when we're editing the email, we can see it's made up of a few different layout blocks creating this design. And one of the new blocks that Flowdesk has added recently is the countdown timer block, which is really exciting. If you just click the plus button anywhere on the email, you can see that there is this new option here to add a countdown, which is great. And if we click on this and go to the right hand side, there are lots of different design settings that you can play with for your countdowns. So if we go to the layout tab, these are all of the different styles that you can use as a template for your countdown timer. So, so many 
different options here which I love. I'm going to go ahead and use this one and I can customize all of the colors and fonts to my own brand as well which I'll get to in a minute. But if we go to the timer option this is where we have the chance to actually put in when the countdown timer is going to be finished and the great thing is that Flowdesk offers two options both a personalized countdown timer which basically begins as soon as someone has opened this email so it's personalized to the individual person opening the emails and a fixed countdown timer as well where the countdown timer is the same for everyone and ends on a specific date. So because in this countdown timer I'm basically telling people that there's going to be a flash sale on on a certain date I'm going to want to put in the start date of the flash sale and the timer is going to end at the time that my sale is beginning. So I'm going to set my sale to start at 9am so I want the timer to have expired by 9 a.m., telling people that this is how long they have to wait until my sale is going live. And you can set your time zone here as well. Make sure to do that because that's really important. You can also turn this whole block into a link as well so that if someone clicks on this, they can be linked straight to the page that you want them to go to, like a product page or a sale page. And then you have some block edit settings as well. And you can also click on all of these elements, as I said, edit the font, change the color. If you wanted to change the shape of this, you can even click on this element here and change the shape of the kind of circles here. You can change the color. I'm going to change this to my brand color. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into my first email, which is my pre-hype email. Okay, so for me, my whole thing around this is that I haven't done this before, so it's something special to look out for, um, but yours could equally be just teasing that something is coming or that you're excited to share your upcoming Black Friday discounts and sales. Um, so I've edited all of this to fit with my branding, I've edited the text, and then I'm gonna choose next. You can type in your subject line and your preview text here, which is really important. So again, you really want to be teasing people and encouraging them to open up the email here. And then when we click continue, this is where you can choose who you want to send um, this email to. So on the next screen, you can choose when you want to send this email. Obviously, it depends when you're creating this. But for me, I want to create some hype around it around the beginning of the week before the sale goes live on the Friday. So my pre-hype emails are going to be going out at the start of the week. Then you can choose a time to send the email. You can go with Flowdesk's recommendations or you can set your own custom time and then click schedule and schedule the email to send out to your audience. The second type of email that you're gonna to want to send is the actual launch email for the sale itself. So this is the day and the time that the sale is actually live and people are able to access your offers. And it's up to you how many of these types of emails you want to send. If we're looking at over a weekend, you could just send one or two and you want to be including all of the details about the offers that you have on sale, the what it is, the who it's for, the when this sale is live and ending, the why it's important, the how this offer is actually gonna be delivered to people and also the why now. Why is it important that people should buy now other than your offer? Really describe the benefits of what it is you're offering in this email and also you can use these emails to target different types of your audience as well and the different angles around your product or service. So for your launch emails this is where you can talk more about your products, your services, what you're actually offering in your flash sale. So if we go to new email again you can start with one of Flowdesk's new e-commerce style templates which are using their new e-commerce layout block. So I've gone in to customize this and you can see this e-commerce block at work here. So this is where if you had lots of products that were going to be available during this sale, you could use this style of block where it's basically like a catalog of products, which is really cool. Again, if you want to create your own um, email templates, you don't want to use one of these ones and just customize it. All you need to do is click on the plus button when you're designing your email and click on the e-commerce button. And this is going to add the e-commerce block here. And as you can see on the right hand side, if I move me, um, you can see all of the different styles that you can use for um, showcasing all of your products. Um, I'm going to use this style because it's got the little discount option here for me to show that this sale is giving people an amount off my courses. And again, you can click on every element of this block. You can change the background color. You can change all of the fonts and the font colors and how the buttons are styled here. And if we just click on the block in general, we have some options too. So you can switch off certain elements. You can switch off buttons, links, you can set how many products you want to display here and also the grid style as well. So there are so many ways that you can customize this to fit with your brand and what you need to be sharing in these emails.
Okay, so I've customized this email now. And basically what I've done is given a bit of an introduction, made sure that people can link to view all of my offers. And I'm basically linking them to this page here that I've created where they can see all of the offers at a glance. And I've also edited the e-commerce block settings to include details with the key information about a couple of the offers that I'm gonna be doing on Black Friday and another button there linking to this page as well now you can definitely include more details about what you're offering here you can include an even longer list of products but for the sake of this video this is what my first launch email is going to look like and if we go to next again i'm going to pop in a subject line for people to know what they can expect when they open this email so they know they're going to be saving some money on my courses when they open this on black friday and i'm going to go ahead and click continue and send this to all my subscribers and then because this flash sale for me is going to be on the black friday weekend i'm going to get this to be sending out on black friday morning when the sale goes live um, i'm going to set it to be at 9 a.m as that's when my other countdown timer that i did in the pre-hype email um, was set to expire as well. So then I can click schedule and schedule that out to my audience. This is just one example of a launch email that you could do, but you could also send out multiple emails throughout the weekend, maybe talking about one specific offer that you're doing rather than just a selection of all of them. You could also talk more about who your offer is for, why it's so important that they buy the offer now, again, not just including the fact that it's on discount, but some other kind of urgency or benefit that people are gonna get straight away after they purchase your product or service. And generally, feel free to give people as much detail as you want and send out and send out several of these types of emails throughout your flash sale event. And then the final type of email you're gonna to want to create is the last chance email. And this is where you're really creating urgency. The end of the flash sale is coming soon and you might want to send one or a few emails just letting people know that the sale is ending soon. And this is a great place to include countdowns as well. So when it comes to your last chance email, this is when we really want to create urgency. The sale is ending soon. So again, you could go ahead and create an email from one of Flowdesk's new templates with the countdown timers. What I'm going to do just to maintain my branding and make it easier for me to edit is use a previous email that I've sent as a template. So because we have the countdown timer in the pre-hype email, I'm just going to click on the three dots here and click duplicate. And this is just going to create a copy of that email, which I can then quickly customize because I've already set up all of the fonts and the branding um, to be right for me. So this is a really important place to be adding in your countdown timer. I'm just going to click on this block here, go to layout and choose a different style so that it looks a little bit different um, from the there's a flash sale coming email that we were sending in the pre-hype phase. So I'm going to go ahead and use this style and I'm going to customize it in a second. But first we want to set these timer settings. Again, we're going with a fixed timer because we're telling them when the flash sale is ending. And for me, this is going to be the end of the Black Friday weekend. So Monday the 27th and I'm going to be ending it at 9 p.m. So now the timer is updated. I'm going to edit the rest of this email. Okay, so I've edited the countdown timer block here. You could also add in some more e-commerce blocks here, again, just to remind people um, using the different style templates that there are here, um, reminding people about your best offers. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it simple for the purposes of this and go to next. Use some urgency in the subject line, click continue. And again, you want to choose to send this to all your subscribers. Click continue and I'm going to be scheduling this for the last day of the um, discount. So just a few hours before the sale actually ends, I could schedule that. And then I could actually go ahead and create another one for maybe like an hour before the coupons expire, before the discounts expire, before the off ends. Just again, to create more urgency and remind people who are the last minute people who take ages to make a decision on these sales. Because I relate to that. If I'm buying something in a sale, I will usually just wait until until the last possible minute to make my decision. So you could definitely send a couple of these last chance style emails as well. So as you can see, Flowdesk have made it really easy to run these kind of flash sale emails now. I absolutely love their new e-commerce and countdown block features and hope you're excited to use them too. If you want to learn more about Flowdesk and get 50% off your first year, check out the links beneath this video and I'm wishing you all the best in any flash sales that you run. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again soon with another video.